Good morning guys. So I thought I would film a little bit of a hello. 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 <laughs> it's lurking on the stairs there. Um yeah, I thought I would film a little bit of a weekend vlog this weekend. When I say weekend, today is Friday. Um but this weekend is Steve's birthday weekend. <laughs> and by that I mean Steve's birthday is on Monday. So we're gonna celebrate most of his birthday this weekend i've got another little creeper in the background <laughs> so we're going to celebrate most of it this weekend um and then on monday we're actually going on a little staycation um for a few days which will be really really fun so we're doing that for his birthday specifically but i thought i would just like bring you along with us this weekend you guys seem to really love all of the videos with steven so i think he's really keen to get more involved on the channel um yeah and maybe just share a few more kind of like lifestyle bits with you guys so um stop blabbing on i am i'm working today but i need to go and pick up my work laptop has been delivered to our local like depot so i need to go pick that up and i'm going to quickly stop off at uh tesco because one thing I'm going to be doing this weekend is I'm going to be baking a cake. I don't bake. I, I don't find any pleasure in baking. I find pleasure in eating the baked goods. But yeah, I've never like been bothered about baking. I know some people just absolutely love it. Um, I mean, I can bake. I feel like my skills are very, very simple. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, it's Steve's 30th, I'm gonna, I've never baked him a cake before, I've always like bought one. So I thought, um, I'll bake him a cake, and I'm gonna bake him a super special cake. Um, I'm gonna put in a photo of my kind of cake goals, this is what I'm aspiring for. I'm gonna do him an Oreo cake, um, cause the boy loves Oreos, and yeah, I haven't shown him the photo because I just don't think it's gonna look like that. I bought some cake molds and some like a piping kit off of Amazon. So um, pray for Louise, hopefully this goes okay. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow because like I said, today's Friday and I'm actually working today. So um, yeah, I can't be sort of chatting for too long. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go grab my parcel, do a little Tessie shop. I'm also gonna pick up some like nice food and stuff for this weekend, like, we're just gonna get like nice breads and cheese and stuff. Are you boys ready for a holiday? Are you ready for a holiday? You've never come on holiday with us, either one of you, have you? Rocky, do you go on holiday? He's keen, I think they're both keen. Yeah. Okay, so the goods have been collected. Um, when I say the goods, where is my phone? Oh, okay, right. So, um, what, I just picked up my thing from the post office. I'm really, really confused. So basically, a backstory is, I let you guys know that I actually started a new job role. So I was freelancing before I started a permanent job role. And um, they didn't have a laptop for me when I started, which is obviously frustrating. I had to wait for a week to have one sent to me, it arrived and it was broken. And um, because of the job I do, I specifically need a Mac because of like the software that I use. Um, so they had to get a new MacBook approved. <coughs> I was told that I was gonna be sent a brand new one because like the department I work in has to get basically budgeting for that. So I was told that it was gonna be a brand new MacBook. Um, it was so I had to wait another week for that to arrive. So it's been two weeks and I've been using my personal laptop, which is really frustrating. But I mean, there's not really much I can do about it. And everyone I work with has been really nice about it, but it's still kind of frustrating. But I just picked this up. I'm obviously not going to show you the side of my address. Like, it looks like a it's a box for a monitor stand. Yeah, I haven't asked for a monitor stand. I asked for a monitor. That's not big enough to be a monitor. Um, and I don't get why. I mean, maybe there's a MacBook box inside that. 
I don't know, maybe they just put it in that box, but I'll get home and unpackage it. I'm hoping it is a MacBook because literally my one is about to die. And I don't want to be putting work stuff on my personal Mac for obvious reasons. So like, I hope that is my MacBook. So fingers crossed, it's just throwing me a little bit. And also the guy at the post office was like really funny about like letting me have it. Cause in case you guys don't know, um, my, my middle name's actually Louise. So they sent it to Louise Henry, which is like how I literally have all of my parcels sent. Like nobody calls me by my first name. <coughs> I've got a really croaky voice today. Um, but on my ID, it says my first and my middle name on there. So it's never been an issue before. And he was like really funny about giving it to me. Um, like I do understand, but at the same time I was like, oh dude, come on, come on now. I'm gonna pop to Tesco now. I'm just gonna stop filling you in my boring life stories. Um, yeah, and go pick up some yummy, yummy food. Right, I'm only just back. Um, bumped into some of my neighbors and they're so, so sweet. Had a good chat with them because they're moving. Um, yeah, it's nice in lockdown to actually go and like talk to people who aren't in your immediate bubble. Um, but yeah, let me open this package and see if it's actually what it's meant to be. If this is a monitor stand for a monitor that I don't have, I'm gonna be really pissed off, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> yes! Boom, bitches! Finally got a piece of work equipment sent to my house. I think the reason they put it in that other box is probably because they probably didn't wanna just put the address straight on here in case someone wanted to nick it or something. Um, but also, the last laptop they sent me, I think they said, oh, it must have been damaged in the post. It wasn't damaged in the post. Um, so maybe they were just trying to be extra safe and kind of pack it out. But oh, yes, brand new MacBook that is definitely going to work. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Boom. And this is actually much nicer than my, my own laptop, so. I have to get that set up now. Luckily I have flexible working so I can start my day like whenever I want basically. Um, so yeah, let me show you some of the stuff I got for this weekend. Okay, so got some nice bread, some pre-sliced tiger bread. Ugh. Um, grapes. Got some Oreos for my Oreo cake, or Steve's Oreo cake. These threw me. I panicked and thought they didn't have them, but they've got like Lady Gaga packaging on them, which is very, very random. I got some cute bunting, so Steve's upstairs working, but I'm gonna um, try, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, maybe like tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come and like put like, some bunting down in the kitchen, um, maybe blow up some balloons and stuff. I'll just tell him, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go make a coffee, stay in bed, I'm gonna do this. So that'll be a nice little surprise, I need to hide that in the cupboard. Um, melon slices, uh, I kind of picked these up, they decided I didn't want them, but then couldn't put them back because I'm trying to not, you know. Um, that's just brown sugar. Got some cold meat. We got some cheese. This is really good, this one, it's called Cam oh God, Cambazola. It's like a blue brie, so we've got some of that. Also got some Wednesday Dylan Cranberry. Steve wanted more deodorant, so we've got one of those. Big thing of olives, we both love olives. Um, sunflower oil, apparently I need that for the cake making. I got some whole milk, which we need for the cake making. Chocolate, dark chocolate for cake. I actually picked up, um, this is just self-raising flour, but I spent a little bit more and picked up this one because it's in one of those resealable ones so that w once I use it up, I can like keep this and just restock the container. I thought that was a smart decision. Um, I've got a couple of things of butter. The amount of butter that I think I'm gonna need is like crazy, um, which sickens me, but I've got two of those. Um, icing sugar, I think, um, I think what I need to do is basically, it's essentially like a chocolate cake with like frosting, 
but also a ganache. I never made a ganache and I don't really know what it is. Um, it just looks like drippy, gooey chocolate stuff. So we'll see. Got some aioli because I also got Steve some tortilla chips. Rocky's barking at something. And last but not least, baking soda. So not the most exciting, well it's exciting, but not that exciting food shop. Also, Steve didn't tell me that my hair looked like this before I left the house. So I've been walking around with like a little horn sticking out the side of my head. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll pack this away first and go and do some work. I may show you um, some of the, well, when I say show you the presents I got Steve, um, I've wrapped most of them apart from one. So I, I tried to get him one big present because it's his 30th, I wanted to like go all out. Got him one big present, one practical present. And then I wanted to get him one more like sentimental one. So the sentimental one I've been crafting away and doing some stuff and it's taking me bloody ages. Um, I spent all of last night trying to do it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you where I'm at with it and I'll give you like a little sneak peek of one of the presents I got him. But the others are wrapped, so you can't see those. Um, but yeah, anyway, stop talking, Louise. I'm procrastinating. I'm gonna actually go and do some real work um, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Right, so it's later on. So I'm just listening because I think Steve is in a meeting. Can you hear him talking? Um, I'm gonna try and finish off Steve's present now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it downstairs. I'm gonna just drop him a text and be like, do not come into the kitchen. Just don't, don't even, um, because I really don't want him to see it, but I wanna show you guys. Um, and hopefully it won't take me too long to actually finish it. I just wanna get everything wrapped. And Steve was saying like, oh, don't worry about like doing it today because today's Friday and his birthday's not till Monday. But I really wanna do like, um, like I showed you earlier, I wanna like surprise him tomorrow morning with like the bunting and stuff. His mum and nan are gonna come over and like into the garden um, just for like a cup of tea and stuff. So I think it'll be really nice because obviously they're gonna bring his birthday presents as well. I thought it'd be really nice to have like a little birthday set up and get all his presents out and everything. So I do really wanna have it done for tomorrow and I'm gonna try and wake up and surprise him. I don't know if that's gonna work out or not. Um, I've been waking up super early and he's been like sleeping in so I think I should hopefully if he doesn't break the trend then I should actually get two hours to myself in the morning um because I tend to wake up at like six and he wakes up at eight at the moment which is yeah a big difference um so yeah hopefully I can like get up and like put some bunting up um and get stuff kind of ready for him actually maybe I'll do that on Sunday oh I don't know Anyway, I'm gonna show you the present now. I managed to lose my phone, I don't even know how. So I spent about a million years looking for it. Don't come downstairs doing present shit. Okay, let me show you this. So basically, it's not the most out there present. Basically, um, hang on, let me push you away a bit. This lighting is not the one, but basically um, we have like so many really nice photos and stuff from like trips abroad, things like that. And they're just kind of sat on our phones. So I thought I would get us a photo album. Let me show you properly. So basically I originally was gonna get him like one of those photo books where you just, they create a book. Um, but for the amount of photos that I wanted to put in it, it was gonna be like 80 quid for one book. And I was just like, that seems a bit extreme. So basically I found this photo album on Etsy. I'll link it down below, but you can like add a little photo to the front of it there and just add however many photos you want. So this is why it has literally been taking me so long. So I've left a page here to like write a note on it. And then I've basically been sticking in, they have these little like kind of tracing paper bits to protect the photos. But yeah, I've basically been sticking in all of these photos and I'm trying to kind of categorize them a bit. So these are all from our trip 
to Florida, which was like our first ever like big trip together. These are from like Prague, which was our first anniversary trip together. I don't have many photos, so I've left a page spare because I'm just gonna say to him basically, if he has better ones, we can kind of change them out. This is when we went to Mexico. We went to Chichen Itza. Um, yeah, this is like for our house. So this is like our first house that we bought together. Um, that was when we went to Switzerland. This is when we got Rockies. So there's all like Rockies puppy photos. And these are the kind of things that are so cute, but they're just kind of stuck in my camera roll. Um, yeah, just some really nice kind of cute family shots. Um, and a few other bits like this one is from my sister's wedding and that's from my cousin's wedding. This was our trip to California that we did nearly two years ago, actually. There's quite a few of these ones. <laughs> but yeah, we did like the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, we did like, what's it called? The lamp, is it Lambda? The light things. Um, yeah, just some like really, really nice photo. That was Steve's Christmas present I bought him, was going to see the Lakers. Um, yeah, it was such a good trip. More rocky ones. This is like more kind of like grown up rocky ones, basically. Um, this was Italy, we went with like a really nice trip with my family. And then this is why it's taking me so long because I literally have about a million more of these to do. But I thought this was like a much nicer way to do it, obviously putting in some effort to actually do it rather than just having a book printed. So I think the photo album was 20 pounds. Um, and then obviously we can add to it. And then these little prints are actually from Aldi, Aldi photo prints online. If you check them out online, they do these little square prints. So I think for all of them, it was like 30 pounds for all of the prints. Oh no, maybe not even that much. No, I'm lying, 20 pounds. I think it was 20 pounds. So I did it in two different orders because I missed some out and I kind of messed up. But this is why it's taking me so long is basically because I'm going through individually with some double-sided tape and sticking these little bad boys in there. So it's taken me absolutely forever. But I think it will definitely be worth it in the long run. I just ripped that a little bit. It's genius, Louise. Um, but yeah, I just think it's so sweet. I honestly think he's gonna absolutely love this. So that's what I'm gonna spend, hopefully not too long doing. I just need to stick in the rest of these photos. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six more kind of double pages to do. Um, yeah, I better get cracking. finished pretty much finished i'm gonna talk you guys through the rest of the photos i'm pretty sure you don't care but i want to show you so in case you haven't noticed i'm very very proud of this so i think the last thing i showed you was like the italy photos yeah this is the last thing i showed you um so italy was september 2019 2019 yes um, so I did another page of Rocky stuff because look at these cute little photos. I have like a little photo shoot with him 
and then here are some more um i try to basically do all of this in chronological is that what i mean in order of date um and then each page i try to group it so obviously some of these aren't exactly when that happened but this is when we went to go and visit my parents um they live near like the forest of dean so we took him up and it was very very windy so i kind of grouped all those photos together because that was like a really nice day this was our anniversary trip in amsterdam that was november 2019 um so this was the last time we went away before the pandemic there's us on our little boat trip the bikes it was just really it was such a nice trip so a few photos there i think i've got the order of this mixed up a little bit but so this was when we went away in September. So we did manage to get away in 2020, we went to Greece. I didn't really have many nice photos. So I've left like a page free. So if Steve has any, I did think, oh, maybe I should just like ask if I can borrow his phone. But I didn't want him to get super suspicious as to what I was doing. So I just went with the ones that I had. He's gonna absolutely hate this photo, but I like it. Um, and I feel really bad because loads of them are of me, but it's because he takes photos of me. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like our 2020 page basically. So our friends actually got married um, December 2019. So that's from their wedding. And then obviously not long after that, we hit the pandemic. So feels, 2020 feels just like loads of like walks in the park. That's when I like shaved Steve's head for the first time. Just loads of cute ones, like just memory kind of photos from like the summer and stuff. Obviously we were doing like loads of walks with Rocky and stuff. We ended up playing lots of Monopoly and Rocky's thing was always like fall asleep on the money. Um, and then um, November 2020 is when we got Milo. So we've got a little page of Milo stuff. That's the first ever photo we took of him. That's him in the crate, literally just after we picked him up from the rescue center, about to come home with us. That was his first ever walk and there's just like a few like really cute ones and then a few of like him and rocky together oh making the, like looking at these makes me like so happy just like the boys together i love oh they're so funny like the way that they sit together they're literally like actual brothers they absolutely love each other so just those are really nice kind of memories of that and then obviously we don't really have many photos from 2020 and like none of 2021 really. Um, this is actually a photo that we took for one of Steve's like um, YouTube video thumbnails. Um, so we obviously kind of posed it, but I thought that was quite funny. I'm gonna get my label maker and write like to be continued. Um, I thought that was like a good photo to kind of end it on. And that's like probably one of the most recent photos of us. So yeah that is it so i'm obviously going to write to be continued i was thinking of writing like a little label to go on the front here as well and then i the only thing i need to do now is just write a letter to go in here but obviously i'm not going to show you guys that because it'll be really mushy and private because i never really write anymore like handwrite anything um my handwriting is shocking so i think i'm gonna have to find like a piece of paper and actually do it on the piece of paper first because i don't trust myself to write straight into the photo album and have it look nice um but yeah it's pretty much done now actually to do the rest of the images only took me another like half an hour i think and hopefully you guys will understand why it took so long um i had to like put sticky tape on the back of every single fucking photo and then obviously like it took a long time to kind of organize all of them and kind of try and put them in an order that made sense so it kind of read like a book um and also had to like reorder some at some point because i had like those big gaps where there weren't enough photos and things like that but it was long and tedious but i think it's definitely worth it and it's obviously something that we can now add to as a couple as well because one of steve's new year's resolutions was to actually take more photos he hasn't really been doing that um but hopefully he will now that we've got like an album to kind of fill and i wanted to go for something that was really like classic so that we can i mean we don't have a bookshelf right now but hopefully we'll be moving house soon so maybe we can invest in a bookshelf and actually put this on and it'll look quite nice. I don't have anything else interesting happening today. I'm just gonna do some more work. I've got some editing to do, but I am gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna try and get up bright and early and get started on this cake. Good morning, everyone. Steve is also here making a coffee. Um, so I've been super productive this morning. 
I got up, cleaned the kitchen, I did some work. Steve got up at like just after eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been super productive. So we've ju just had breakfast. I'll set you guys up here. Yeah, we've just had breakfast. Um, we just had like some rabbit eggs on toast and we are about to pop out and walk the doggos. I'm gonna definitely need to wear a hat because <laughs> I've got some hair issues going on. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the dogs for a walk. We're gonna go via Tesco because I want some cute nails to wear like for the weekend, some like stick-ons. I've run out. Um, so we're gonna go and see if they have any in Tesco. I'll just pick them up. Um, I normally get them on Amazon, but I just wasn't organized enough this time. You just made coffee? Yes. I thought we were going on a dog walk. Louis, this will take me about Yeah, you'll, you'll chug that back. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna come back, shower, get ready for the day. Um, are you gonna help me with a cake? When I say help, like, just watch me struggle. I could be baking assistant. So yeah, so you, you want to yeah. kind of like help me? Yeah, so I can help, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, it'll be a nice little, little team bonding. <laughs> um, yeah. Fingers crossed we don't have any domestics doing it because neither one of us are really bakers. Well, we shouldn't do it on my birthday weekend, right? No domestics on my birthday weekend. No, no. <laughs> so even if you're wrong, you're going to have to admit that I'm the right don't. one. Don't. Right? We've already nearly had a Barney this, um, this morning, haven't we? <laughs> Continue. Only because Steve basically told me he was going to do loads of shit earlier in the week and just didn't do it. So that's why I was like, Honey, honey. Um, yeah, but we're gonna have a good weekend, aren't we, mate? Yes. I've cleaned the kitchen already for your mum and your nan coming over. Yep. There's no kind of like muddy paw prints anywhere. Um, we'll probably cock it up when we do the cake and get it really dirty again, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm blabbing on now. Chug that back and we're gonna go on a dog walk. Okay, right, it's way later than I was intending it to be. It's just gone 11 o'clock um, and Steve is hoovering upstairs. I don't know if you can hear. What is going on with my hair? Um, Steve's just gone up to Hoover. So we've come back from our dog walk, showered, did my nails, so I've got some long nails back. And we just sat and had a tea and a chat for ages. And I'm going to do the decoration now. So Steve's hoovering upstairs. He's then gonna jump in the shower. I told him not to come down until I would like told him to. And then we're gonna kind of bake the cake together. I was hoping to get the cake ready for when Steve's mum and nan come over, which is at two o'clock. It's now 11 o'clock and I've not done literally anything. I, I, I don't know, on Bake Off, they take a couple of hours to make the cake. Is that enough time? I don't know. So I'm gonna get cracking now. I'm gonna put up some of the bunting and the balloons and then Steve's gonna come help me with the cake. That is my action plan. super difficult to show you but I just put a little bit of bunting up there um, a couple of balloons I just chucked these balloons on the floor a little bit more bunting up here it like, just looks really half-assed but I know that he isn't that bothered about decorations and stuff it's more for like me I want to just make it a little bit more special so yeah I've just put a couple of bits up and then I have this really cool cake topper it's actually from my mum's cake from last year, we made her a cake. Um, so I'm gonna reuse that this year. But yeah, I'll show you Steve's reaction when he comes down.
happy oh. weekend birthday. <laughs> oh, this looks amazing. Yeah? Yeah. And you come down just in time to lick the spoon from the cake bowl. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, babe. Cute ass little balloons. It's really good down here, doesn't it, boys? Yeah. You want to pop the balloons in a sec, probably? Mine was a little bit scared, but he's okay now. Oh, that's him. Thanks, yeah. babe. Have you seen my cakes, babe? I have. They look really good. They're ready to go in the oven. Woo. Whoop, whoop. So, yeah. I did half the quantity because it said it was going to feed like 16 people and I know that yeah, we eat right. a lot <laughs> but it just seemed excessive. It's got um, self-raising flour in it so they'll like puff yeah, up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just did, you're meant to do three layers, just did two. Mm -hmm. These are the little silicon things from yeah, Amazon, right. they're quite yeah. good actually. Yeah, they look good. Because so, yeah, I'm just going to whack them on a tray, put them in the oven for like half an hour. Half an hour. And nice. then you can help me do all the icing stuff. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so cakes have come out of the oven. Woo! I've let them cool. Also, <laughs> this one looks like kind of like a boob. Um, great tip from Steve. We didn't have a cooling rack. This is our rack from our grill, like grill pan thing. So, top tip from Steve Hood. If you don't have a cooling rack, use your grill rack thing in a bob. Anyway. I do have good ideas every now and again. Don't I? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the cakes are cooled. Um, I have made some. I'll link the recipe I've used for all of this down below. Um, it was pretty simple. I made some Oreo buttercream. So it's literally just buttercream icing with Oreos crushed in it. So I'm gonna put that on now. I think I've gotta put it in the fridge for a little bit longer to let it set. And then I'm gonna put some like melted chocolate stuff on the top. So, yeah, this is the bit I'm most excited about is decorating the cake. I, I feel like say, it's the, the baking bit's bit, boring. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get it decorated. It's not for you, Rocky. Susie jumping up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, here is where we are. I'm actually quite impressed. For my first kind of like cake cake. I think you should be. Kind of, yeah, so we've got the little drips on there. I'm kind of rushing because Steve's mum and Anna are meant to be here any minute. So I just piped on some more, this is the Oreo buttercream. Just piped some on there and just stuck some Oreos in. I did the cake smaller than I was meant to, which kind of means that the sign is a little bit kind of hanging in there. I am gonna just crush some Oreos and kind of put them in the middle there, maybe a little bit around the edge. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys really quickly, just in case they kind of turn up. And yeah, we'll give you guys a little glimpse. I'm pretty chuffed. You should be. I, I mean, it doesn't look cool. professional, but it looks... I think it looks great. Yeah, that is going on the gram for sure, isn't it, babe? 100% babe. Come on, William, let's go. I think I've smeared makeup literally all over my face. Milo, <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna actually wrap this vlog up here. So we actually just did Steve's like presents and stuff. Um, we're still on Saturday, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but tomorrow we're just gonna be like packing our bags, um, ready to go away. And we're just gonna literally watch 
movies and stuff all day and have a really chilled one yes. before spending a few days away. You opened your presents just now. I did. Um, so Nintendo Switch was the main present. So we're definitely going to get a Mario Kart. Going to whoop your butt at Mario Kart. Uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be playing this Mario Kart tomorrow yes. anyway. Which is going to be super boring for you guys. Um, but obviously super fun for us. Um, but yeah, I thought I would wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, we will see you guys later.